Hi, I'm Noah Wester from Noah Pop TV. We're here in Franklin, Tennessee, and we're at the Franklin Theater with author of The Bridge, Karen Kingsbury. Hello, welcome. Great Hello. to have you here. Oh, thank you so much. We're so excited. There's been nothing like this ever, right. so this is a new thing. Right. So tell me a little bit about what kind of inspired you to write the book, The Bridge, about the bookstore in Franklin, Tennessee. Well, I came here for a visit. I had a chance to kind of stroll the street, downtown Main Street of downtown Franklin, and uh, we went into the Bridge store, which really was the landmark booksellers. And in my mind, as we were walking through, I thought, what a great story this would be. Because it's a house that was used in the Civil War days. It's several hundred years old. And I thought, what if this store had disappeared in the flood? Because there was a huge flood in Nashville in 2010. And that didn't really happen with the store. But I began to do the what if game that novelists do. And I thought, OK, this with a couple, this in the real life couple, they're just charming, Joel and Carol. But I thought, you know, what a great story of a couple that's given their lives to a bookstore. If they lost it in a tragedy, you know, it would maybe never come back again. Right. And you have a, lot, um, a prequel to the book, like, you know, The Bridge Part 2. We're here at the premiere of The Bridge Part 2. And you have a book out that uh, is, the, it's called The Beginning, which yes. is the prequel. Kind of tell me, is that book similar to what people will be watching on Hallmark Channel, you know, of the movie? Well, the beginning, the prequel, was sort of the um, subject of the matter for part one. And so that happened because what, what, with the real-life couple, I'm not sure what their story is, but with Charlie and Donna in the bridge, there was a reason why they decided to open a bookstore and make that their livelihood and their life. And they decided that because they'd had some tragedy in their own story. And uh, so that was kind of the prequel, kind of showing that and setting it up. And then part two is kind of the bridge. Right. And... Fans and viewers wanted The Bridge Part 2 to air early, didn't they? Oh my. And everyone at Hallmark listened, and it's, up, it's like premiering March the 20th on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries and March the 27th on Hallmark Channel. That's right. How excited are you to be able to, like, to have like the movie air early, you know, instead of everyone having to wait until Christmas? Well, I'm just so thrilled that my friends at Hallmark heard the readers because they started a petition, and they were so upset they were just bombarding Hallmark with, we want it now. We don't want to wait. People were saying, what if I'm not alive in a year? Like, they were really desperate for the movie. So we had to take that as a good sign that they loved part one. And now Hallmark has heard them, and so we're having Christmas at Easter. Oh, that's awesome. And Faith and Ted are really wanting this show to come into a series, and a lot of the viewers, too. You know, they're really wanting it to come into a series for Hallmark. What do you have to say? You know, what I mean, what would you think your mo you know your book turned into a movie? And now it's gonna like be a series. Wouldn't that be awesome? It would really be incredible. Like we were talking about that this morning, uh, Ted and Faith and myself. We were saying the setting is there. It's a perfect setting. You have your main characters, and then people would come in and visit, and they would have issues or struggles or problems, and uh, you'd have the main the main characters, Charlie and Donna, would be able to kind of step in and help the way bookstore owners like. Our real life Carol and Joel might actually do. Well, I think it'd be great. I would love to see it yeah. as a series. Yeah, I mean, it would be cool. Great. We're excited. We really are looking forward to that possibility. Right. And last question: any new any new things you're doing that you might would like, like to say? You know, you're working on a new book. You told us in our last interview in December. Yes. Tell me a little bit about where that's at now. Well, the last book in the Angels Walking series is called Brush of Wings, and that will be out March 29th everywhere, and it is a book everyone is looking forward to. And the readers are saying you really don't need to have read even like book one and two. You kind of get the whole story if you read this, uh, this last installment, so I'm really excited about that. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. A lot coming from Miss Karen Kingsbury. <laughs> Thanks, Noah. All right. We'll see you next time on Noah Pop TV. Bye.